Ha ha! Hee hee ho ho! Are you looking for the little stocking fillers this Christmas? Then come to Mal Norton's Magic Shop and let him fill your stockings for you. He has little gifts from three pounds upwards to fill your lovely stockings. Hello, Mal. How are you today? Reaching, reaching, reaching so far. Reaching so people so can far. get their magic trips from here. They can indeed. It's coming up for Christmas time for Christmas magic. I'm walking backwards for Christmas. So what can they get from here for Christmas for their Christmas stockings and legs and everything? Beautiful magic sets. Mag magic cases. Magic sets. Magic cases. Magic. Magic. Oh, what, what are these, Mal? Magazines. Magic magazines. Ma magazines. And we have magic wands. So they can learn the trade and learn the tricks. Oh. Magic ones. And what if else have you If you want something for Christmas, or we've got something for everyone. Children. Adults. But, you know, in the nicest possible sense of the word. And, of course, the... Uh, Ever ready magic pond and, what else and the have? beautiful cups and balls. And if you come back on Monday, I will show you this very trick. And what else have we got? Um, a broken one. <laughs> you say that'll teach me to hit things with it, won't it? Okay, <laughs> oh, that's a miss. And what are these, Mal? Tricks. It's all tricks. And it's much, all magic. And how much are these tricks? These are all oh, anything from about £3.50 upwards. Uh -huh. And I'd like to say, up here, to let what? me uh, up to how much do you want to spend? Loads of money. Are any of them collectible? Lots of them are collectible. I have some beautiful uh, antique pieces. So you're a collectomaniac? Or it's for, in, in for collectomaniacs? Come up there. The amazing Keybender. The amazing, oh yeah. Zanordi. That song's almost French. I'm having problems with French dialect at the moment. And a little duck. Yes, a duck. Oh. Duck! No, I said duck, there's a brick coming at your head. <laughs> oh. And what else have we got in this um, fantastic little magic shop? Everyone's wishing. See, we have. Oh, you see now, I don't show many people this. You're pulling there's your wand out. Beautiful magic wand here that can be made to dance and float around. And how, and how, do, you do, and how do you do that? By magic. Is that a wassail? Uh, well, it would be if it was Christmas, it was. It would be a bit of wassailing. And whereabouts are you based in the house that Jack built? In the house that Jack built. <laughs> right in the doorway, you can't miss me. That's oh, on yeah. South Side Street. Oh, yeah, you're with us, but you can miss me. Yes, it's on South Side Street. It's opposite the pub, so there's no excuse. And if you don't like pubs, there is a cafe over the road. That's oh, what pub is it? Okay. Gog and Magog. The, 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 the what? The Gog and Magog. That sounds interesting. I'd better yeah, go there. They are the original gods. So I'm going to fill my stockings here this Christmas. Uh oh, you can fill your stockings wherever you like. <laughs> Preferably at home. Here we have the deluxe package. Um, yeah, this is one of the. This is the trick that started me off. To and be, this is for sale. To be honest with you, yes, you can come in here and you can buy sets of these. I have various sets. How much is this uh, one? Then? This is the deluxe package, which depends on whether you want a bag with it. And the wands, but they uh, they start at three fifty. This one cost you about six quid with the bag and the wand, and the three cups and the three balls. Oh yes, yes. This trick. Let's get rid of that because uh, we don't need that. That is just the bag. Is this a quickie? Is this a quickie? Uh, well, you can make this as quick or as short as you want, or as long as you want. This is the world's most famous ever magic trick. The oldest trick known in magical history. So, so how many um, balls do you get with the you, kit? You get three balls and in the three cups. That's a bit freaky, isn't it? Three balls. And you put a ball on top of the cup here. You place another cup on top of the cup and you give it a tap. Give it a tap, tap, tap. And the ball falls right through the top of the red cup. Underneath. So can you buy this on tap? No. You can take the wand, you can place the ball on top of that cup, you go simply tap, 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 and it falls through to join the other one. Now this cup over here is getting a bit lonely, so we'll use this cup, you put the ball on top of the cup, you give it up, and through it, it through it, it, oh. Sometimes the ball gets confused. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh yeah. It's a great magic trick. Through not one, but through two cups. So as soon as you buy the trick, you can do this straight away, can you? Pretty much instantaneous. Uh, oh, what happened there? Oh, I'm sorry, got stuck halfway. <laughs> okay, through not one, but through two. Oh, through two cups. 
Oh yeah, all the way. Now that's as simple as a trick gets. If you really want, you can start making the trick more complicated. For example, we can take ball number one, and we go, ding, and it disappears. Ball number two, ding, it disappears. And ball number three, ding, it disappears. Where do they all go? Well, it's very simple. They all go back under the cups. Oh yeah. Now, what we can do is we can get rid of these um, things here. Get rid of that cup, put that one out of the game. And we'll put this one out of the game because we don't need those two. And we'll just do the trick with the one cup and the one ball. You see, put the trick, uh, where's the ball? On top of the blue beaker. No, it's on the bottom. Cup's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the funny. old jokes are the best jokes. You can give it a tap like this and it goes right through the top of the cup. Or you can drop it in there like that and it goes right through the bottom of the cup. Yet the cup does seem to have a solid bottom. Or you can put the ball over here. It can't tap, be the solid goes, bottom. Here, I'll do that again in case you missed it. You see, you go, and ta -da, it disappears and it's always oh, on top of the cup. <laughs> okay, we'll put it in the pocket. And what happens then? It flies back and reappears under the cup. These are all things you can do with it. The only thing you do have to be careful of is once every blue moon you will find that um, things go a little bit um, askew. Uh, not quite sure what that's doing there or that's doing there or even that one's doing there. Um, but if you can get away with that then you can get away with murder. So, so can people order these through your shop? Uh, yes, you can come and buy them at the shop. Um, is there a mail order service? Um, oh, hang on a sec, what's that? Oh, I missed one, sorry about that. Oh, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. Oh, about time to change the battery, I think. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you want any of this, you know where I am. International. Come and see me, yes. I am an international and versatile act, yes. I'm out of work all over the world and I'm crap at everything. Ta -da! Thank um, you, Mal. This has kept me off the X Factor for years. <laughs> so until then, it's trick at the end of the week. Come and shop at Mel's. Something went wrong there. Not sure what, but... Balls. Get your presents from Mal Norton, the house that Jack built, Plymouth Barbican, 2016. Let him fill your stockings for you. The house that Jack built. You can find Mal Norton on Facebook. You can also find him on the website details here. This has been a Christmas of the old media production 2016. You can contact me, sponsor me and support me through PayPal at christophersummerfield.gmail.com. Thanks for watching this rather entertaining video. Music on the video is by Chris Oxland. You can also find Chris Oxland on Facebook and at Oxy Music, SoundCloud. I'm walking backwards for Christmas across the Irish Sea. Oops. <laughs>